Welcome. In this lecture, we will talk about some of the important happenings from down to earth. Now, Mission Haryana is one of the projects to bring back fruit trees. It is being planted in more than 1.1 million uh, trees in Nalanda, with guava trees as the main, and then jackfruit, custard apple, mango, gooseberry as other trees. Now, mahogany plants are again planted. Recently, earthquake took place in Syria. Now, Syria is located on the fault line, and therefore, this earthquake became a very important cause of concern. There has been health coming in from various nations but the epicenter so the top where on the surface where we see is the uh, main aspect and this epicenter which is the point where the earthquake originates was Gaza Tep, which is around uh, having a 7.8 magnitude earthquake which was recorded now uh, this uh, plates that are moving are important so Anatolian plate has been pushed westward However, you have East Anatolian Fault being created under the Singru Fault and a North Anatolian Fault was created. The first quake was 17, meter, 17 km deep, the other was 10 km deep. Huge amount of energy was released and massive damages were seen. Now, this magnitude earthquake is extremely important because it has created pressure on the falls. The, mo uh, the next is monumental waste. Now, Jharkhand, as one of the states, has been spending tremendous amount on water and water-related issues for facing and controlling the drought. Saru village in the Palmao district has uh, recently seen numerous amount of youth going to cities for work and water shortage has made farming extremely difficult. The state disaster management team has been working for it. One third of the crops have been lost by the farmers. Jharkhand which was uh, which is actually an agrarian state with 63% of the population engaged in agriculture is seeing a huge impact because of climate change. Most of the uh, affected crops include the kharif crops, maize, uh, maize pulses and oil seeds. Uh, Jharkhand Agriculture Department has say, uh, said that 92% of the total area is fed by rainfall and 82% of the rainfall is during the monsoon months. But there has been sharp decline in the rainfall from 2001 to 2008 and droughts have become frequent after 2000. This has created a capital loss under Manrega. Also, uh, under the Manrega, uh, we have seen water-related works which have been uh, significantly increasing in the regions of Jharkhand. Some of the solutions include uh, keeping the land fallow during the Rabi so that good crops can be seen during Kharif, uh, more utilization of the barren land and creating opportunities for short term uh, crops which includes oil seeds or vegetables uh, which can bring in better farmer income. But at this time what is important is community involvement and a proper planning mechanism. Now, a very important innovation has taken place in Finland where sand batteries have been created. These batteries made of sand are the first batteries installed in Finland and they have a capability to store the energy generated from renewable sources. There are massive uh, steel silos which are around 7 meters tall, 4 meters wide and have a capacity to have nearly 100 tons of sand installed in the Kankanpa town of Finland. So here, the energy is generated from windmill stored in the sand battery and can be utilized for heating the homes. This uh, temperature at which it can heat is interesting and it can actually have 100 homes along with swimming pools for heating for 80 hours on a full charge which is a significant uh, good development we could say. Now uh, the sand could be heated up to 600 degrees Celsius, water starts boiling only at 100 degrees Celsius. Now also sand has lower heat conductivity which reduces the energy loss and therefore becomes an important component of this process. Uh, the next is there are limitations because the current heat capacity is not enough to meet the heating needs and it is not uh, reasonable to make efforts on the town by just one storage system. The union budget was released, we have covered this separately. 2016 to 2020 was considered as a great Indian slowdown phase. And then we are talking about recovery phase post the slowdown. There are vital figures from agriculture, food subsidies, heavy industries, which are all available in the handout. You can just go through the, um, uh, the clippings there. The idea is under various schemes, what was the allocation uh, over the year to year phenomena? 
Now, we have seen in the last edition that Joshimat was one of, is one of the places which has been severely affected by anthropological causes and land subsiding issues. Now, most of the Himalayan towns have been affected by high pressure of tourism and uh, non-uniform distribution. There has been mass tourism during certain months and therefore there is a need to develop green uh, green spots and green resources. Also, air pollution is becoming at its peak. Pollutants in the form of micro, um, particulate matter 10, 2.5 and 1 along with black carbon are seen. DNA vaccine against dengue. Zydus Cadilla has created its worst, first of its kind DNA vaccine for dengue. There are four substrains for dengue. Uh, DEN 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 2 is the most prominent one. Against DEN 1, the vaccination has been created. It is believed that this is highly stable and highly um, uh, uh, performing. India is the fourth worst affected nation in terms of the dengue cases. However, since DEN 2 is the most prominent case, uh, only if a vaccine can be created which works against all the serotypes or is effective at least against DEN 2, that could be made possible. Now, DNA vaccines usually have weaker immune response in human than in mice and therefore humans must take higher doses of DNA vaccine. Also there is ADE which is antibody dependent enhancement which is another important concern in dengue. So when vaccine um, trigger the production of antibody they bind to the cell at later exposure and with dengue these antibodies could actually replicate and increase the severity of the disease. The next is climate proof home food. Now households producing the crops for their own consumption have become secure. Uh, that is mainly due to the erratic uh, weather. Farmers are getting affected by climate change. The food prices are soaring high. The consumption of pulses, dairy, wheats, fruits have significantly uh, changed over the time and there is magnification effect which is seen. Bio CNG another important cause of concern. Now uh, important uh, topic for discussion because bio CNG is generated from any manure and food waste and as an advanced form of biogas uh, it is promoted across the rural areas uh, it involves commercial refining for increasing its methane content to about 90 percent so municipal solids paddy uh, stubble are all part of it now this bio cng can be used as part of Gobertan project which is galvanizing organic bio agro resource done and then India can explore clean fuel opportunities under Satat which is sustainable alternative development uh, affordable transportation for affordable transportation so 50% of the diesel usage, usage can be replaced by bio CNG under the bioenergy launch program in 2022, UP is providing subsidy of rupees 75 lakhs per ton for setting up new plants. Uh, then there is a German company Vibrio AG which is one of the Asia's largest bio CNG plant in Sangarur. Uh, now this formation requires raw material, a pre-test and a pre-treatment. -tre uh, Pre-digester where slurry is sent to the pre-digester for hydrolysis. Then there is a digester where it is decomposed. Gas balloons, cleaning of the area and then finally packaging and shipping. Now coral uh, breach. The seaweed park in Tamil Nadu has been part by, uh, planned by the government but it has a great threat by Kekefas which is one of the most invasive seaweeds grown in the region of the nearby Gulf of Manan National Marine Park. And it is one of the major threats to the coral near the region of Kurusadai. This algae species was introduced willingly in Ramanathapuram for commercial cultivation around 20 years back. And this, this is among the list of 100 most invasive species under IUCN. Now the, the live corals which are present there are affected because of the uh, kappa ficus and this is affecting and invading most of the islands of Gulf of Manar. So of the 21, six islands are already, already infested and uh, infected by Kappa ficus. Uh, there is a seaweed, uh, seaweed bank which is planned in uh, the Vallamavur village of Ramanathpuram and a processing hub for factories for seaweed production in Pudukotai. Uh, so those are some of the important aspects that we discussed. Antimicrobials have increased in usage and the levels are 80% higher than 2020. There is a significant threat of antimicrobial resistance which is uh, projected. China, Brazil, India 
and australia are among the top hot spots for consuming uh, antibiotics with china leading much before much beyond what is expected now geopolitics is a very important topic where we talk about the uh, the geopolitics of north and south uh, the developed versus the developing countries how developed countries are creating pollution and the implications are borne by the developing nations so uh, us and eu are historically the largest and the second largest emitters of greenhouse uh, the inflation reduction act was passed in 2022 by us and this was a major effort to curb the climate change and its implication so there had been a standoff and this was talked about to control the amount of carbon exposures across the globe uh, in india there had been various policy frameworks e waste management rule 2023 is one such in line then there is national green hydrogen mission which we have covered in a separate lecture some of the other important issues talks about higher level of uraniums which are higher than the safe levels of 30 parts per billion found in most of the waters and this metal in the ground water is extremely dangerous uh, there were wild fires which were seen in chile recently israel has dropped a, a tax system that talked about reduction the reduction in the consumption of single use plastics and utensils in india by 40% uh, then there is uh, the gm mustard d dmh11 which was approved for environmental release in 2022 uh, after many years of effort and various districts in tamil nadu have started uh, after the approval have started producing this gm mustard for commercial purpose so those are some of the important topics that we have covered in this down to earth edition in case you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment section and a complete video course for your mains optional and your mains gs is now available on doorstep tutor in the links below thanks for joining it